Good morning. Good morning. Hey. Mm. You ready for school? Mm. Yeah. Mm. You excited? Mom. What? Can we do your video now? I'm doing a video right now. Did you break it? <laughs> Don't show dad. What's up with that? Okay, you ready? And then hold on. Um, it's a death song. So okay. don't know. Uh, we don't know. Ow! I cooked you! Okay. okay. I'm gonna drop you off. You're gonna eat breakfast. Um, Mom, can you do this way so we can see you? Hold on. You're gonna eat breakfast, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna go to Miss your teacher's class. Yeah, I mean Miss Ham. And then Miss Ham. You're gonna do your work. You're yeah. gonna have fun. And right? I'm gonna have my thing glass. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go, buddy. Good morning. Well, good afternoon. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> today, my son went to school. <laughs> he was excited to go. I was ready for him to go. Um, I don't know when. I've always like, like. Kids are very kids. <laughs> they're very outspoken. They're very bold. They're very honest. Some kids are like they don't care. Like they'll tell you how it is. And I've always thought like when I was little, where am I going? When I was little. I'm always like, why isn't it so ready for us to go to school? Like, I don't know. And now I know. <laughs> but it, it's not that, like, because it was, it was, like, I was trying really hard not to, like, be, um, take out my frustrations on him or, you know, things like that. I'm making lunch right now for myself. And, you know, it was, it was to the point where he was getting um, very attached to me. Like, he was getting, like, like he didn't want to leave my side. And I was telling my dad about that. And he's like, well, he's your he's your son. You know, he, he loves you. No, that's no. <laughs> I, I, I know he loves me. I, that's my son. Yeah, I'm like, um, yes, I know that. But he was getting to the point where I would go to the bathroom and he would knock on the door and when, when are you coming out? When are you coming out? And he'd just wait there until I'd come out. Or um, like in my bathroom, like right here, I close my door sometimes when I when I use the bathroom. Like if my parents are here or my sister's here or someone's here, then I'll go to my bathroom and I'll close this door so that way you know they know i'm using the bathroom so that way they won't go in there and so you know i would do that and i would leave my bathroom door open because i just have to use the bathroom real quick and he would go in there and he would just stand there and look at me i'm like i'm using the bathroom he's like i know i'm just gonna wait for you like he was getting to the point where he wanted to be with me 24 7. like he wanted to stay attached to me and that's not healthy i'm sorry Forgive me if you don't agree, <laughs> but to me, as a mom, that is not healthy. That is not a healthy relationship to have because then he becomes so dependent on you. He becomes not wanting to do things on his own. He becomes very um, shy and very, and I don't want my son to be that way. That is not who my son is. My son is not a shy person. My son is not a hesitant he doesn't hesitate like I, I i want him to be who god created him to be and god created him to be bold and he created him to be um honest and uplifting and if i continue if i continue with that kind of if i keep allowing that to happen then he's gonna depends solely on me so when he does get older 
and he's in middle school and he wants to try all these things out like he wants to try football or whatever it is he's not gonna want to do it because he he's gonna be too scared I'm not there and not no I'm not raising for, and if you do that that's that's you <laughs> if you want to be that kind of parent you want to be that kind of mom all for it you do what you is good for you you do whatever makes you happy as a parent but to me this is my opinion this is how I'm gonna raise my child and he's not gonna do that and he was becoming that way he wouldn't want to like where did we go um, I we have went somewhere I don't remember where it was at. I don't remember exactly where we had went. And he didn't want to... I don't want to go without you, Mom. Come on. I don't want to go. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Like, he didn't want to... He didn't want to... Like... I had to be there for him to do it. I had to be there for him to be... You know, like, usually... Usually he would have... All right, Mom, I'll be back. Like... He's very independent. My son is very independent. He's six years old, but he's very independent. He does things on his own. If he's hungry, he comes in here, he makes himself a sandwich, and he sits at the table, he eats it, he gets his chips. If he wants to take a shower, he'll tell me, Mom, I'm going to take a shower. He'll go in the shower, turn it on, he'll take a shower. Sometimes I have to help him, you know, with, with soap and stuff like that, but... If he wants to do something, he does it. I don't I don't have I mean, yes, there's limitations in my home, but I'm not going to limit him if he wants to be independent. I'm not going to limit him if he wants to go outside and go play or because our backyard has a gate so he can go out there. If it didn't, I wouldn't, you know, but see that's what I mean, like limitations. There's there is limitations, but like this is his house. This is his home, and if he has to ask to do something, you know, something that is, that is, how would you say it? Something that is, is, um, like, why are you asking me? Just do it, you know? I mean, yes, there's things that he has to ask, you know, there's things that he has to, he has to ask before he does it, but, like, if he wants to make a sandwich, if he's hungry... And, you know, it's like 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon and he's hungry. Hey, make a sandwich. You don't have to ask. If you're hungry, go get it. Or if he wants water, he doesn't have to ask me, Mom, I want water. Can you get me one? Boy, no. Go get you water. Like, you have hands and feet? I don't know. I don't know. It's just certain things like that. He was very, like, he started getting very, like, very, um... He wanted me to open the bottle for him. He wanted me to pour it in a cup for him. He wanted me, like, no. Like, he he was getting so attached. And that is very unhealthy. That is very, very unhealthy. Especially since he's going to first grade and then he's going to go on and, no. And he, he needed to go to school. Like, not just to learn, but to learn to to be... Ricky learn to be who he is as a friend as a student like he needs to be that and it was getting to the point where he wasn't and it was getting like annoyed like I was getting annoyed because that's not who my son is that's why I, in yesterday's vlog you know he he was mocking me or I don't know what he was doing and I was getting annoyed because he's never done that before he's never mocked me He's never repeated what I say. He's never... And so that's why I knew, like, he's too much with me. Like, he's getting too attached where, like, he's doing things that he knows that annoys me. And, like, it's... I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I hope I'm explaining it right. I hope I'm... I hope y'all get it. I'm not trying to be a mean mom. I'm not trying to be... To push him away or nothing like that. I want him to be not fearful of doing things i want him to be a, a quote-unquote independent i guess 
you know, not independent of what the world thinks, but independent of himself. I can do this. I can push myself. I'm strong. The Lord makes me strong. I know I can go do it. I know, like, not, not like, I don't want to say it like that. <laughs> not like, you know, I need my mom's hand. I need my mom to push me. I need my mom to do things for me. No, I'm sorry. You can get your own water and you can open it and you can drink it. Like, I don't know. There's certain things that I've learned that a mom has to be there for and a mom doesn't have to be there for. I know like I have to push my son to go to school and encourage him to go to college and be there for him to wipe tears, things like that. But I, I don't have to be there to make him a bologna sandwich when he knows where everything's at. He knows where the chips are. He knows where the drinks are. You can do it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you, he can do it. He's, if he has chores here, then he can make himself a sandwich. <laughs> like his chores are to keep that fridge stocked with drinks, with water, Cokes, do whatever we have, keep it stocked. Get all the trashes, both trashes from the bathrooms, put it in here and help dad throw the trash. And, you know, clean his room. And he's been doing really good. I mean, he complains what kid doesn't complain, but he's been doing really good. You know, sometimes... I have to tell him a couple of times to do it, but he does it. He eventually does it. And he's a good kid. He's a really good kid. And I didn't want, I didn't want, you know, I didn't want him to be solely just independent, solely to be dependent on me and all that, that who he is as a person and his personality just go away because, you know, he's just so dependent on me and I don't want that that you're 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 helping your son emotionally die to me that is my opinion that is my opinion and so it's I don't want my son to I want him to push himself encourage himself fight for himself like you know because I've learned too that my parents can't always do things for me I have to do it myself and I want him to learn that, you know, like my parents can't always help me pay my bills or my parents can't always help me, um, you know, lift me up or encourage me or, or, you know, I have to fight in this situation and I can't run to my parents and climb into their bed and hide in their blankets. Like I have to fight. I have to do it. And I want him to realize that too. And I've been talking for like 15 minutes. <laughs> But I'm gonna eat my lunch. My son went to school, he was so excited. I went on this whole rant. I don't even know why I went, went on it, but I don't know. But I asked him this morning, cause last year he cried. He cried last year. I was like, you gonna cry? And he's like, no, you're gonna cry. Like he was, I don't know, he was very excited to go. He was very excited. So we prayed this morning before he went and we just declared things over him and you know, reminded him that this is school. You have to do your work. You have to, you know, do things. And I mean, he, he got it. I think he, he's going to do good. He's going to do really good this year. I hope, I pray. <laughs> he's going to do really good. I know he's going to struggle a little bit with reading because he hates, he hates it. He hates reading. He doesn't like it, but he keeps, I love math. I love math. And his math teacher is really nice. But, and his reading teacher, which is the woman you saw in the last vlog, she's his homeroom teacher too. And she's the one that worked with him in summer school. So I know he's going to be comfortable and I know he's going to start to like reading because she just seems very, very nice. She has a sweet, sweet, like, she's very, she seems very sweet. But anyway, I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to eat because I haven't eaten and maybe, I don't know, we'll see what happens next. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Did you have a good day? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was not recording this whole time. <laughs> yes, I showed you something. <laughs> Tell me about your day. Good. Say it again. Tell me about your day. Okay, so 
So what did you do? Um, we uh -huh. What did your PE teacher tell you? Um, I missed you. You said that they that they missed you. No, but you, you, you. Oh, yeah, I missed you. I'm glad you had a good day. You didn't cry, right? Yeah, and then take a drink. Huh? And then take a drink. Yeah. You didn't cry, right? No. No crying. <laughs> I'm glad he had a good day, Pa. Mom. I'm glad that you liked it. Mom, hmm. I'll buy a new pool. Did you like your teachers? Yeah, Mom. Hmm. Mom, my, my can I buy a pool like my like Bladen pool? Sure. Did you like your teachers? Yeah. Yeah? I'm glad you liked your day, Pa. And then Monday, we got to start all over again and go back to school. <laughs> Dad. Does that work? Why is he always at work? It does. Hey, I love you. Love you. Give me five. Yeah. You had a great day, right? What? What? Uh, are you recording? Yeah. Um, that's all. That's all? Yeah. Okay. Tell him bye. Bye.